spent a little more time playing around with this Hallet Box software, and I think I've got something figured out for manual supports. Well, I don't think I know. Greetings. Dave here, DCPFX. Real quick video, I'm just doing this on my desk rather than, you know, in the studio. This, um, I was playing around on the weekend and playing around again today on getting a few things fixed with the uh, supports on the Hallet box. So here I got a quick video for you. Okay, here's what I figured out in order to use supports in the Hallet box. So first of all, let's bring in a file. We'll just do a Green Lantern ring because why not? So there's a Green Lantern ring. Now it's not the right size. I need to make it bigger. But this is essentially how you add supports. It's a, it's a weird system. So you would think you would go here and you click on Generate Supports. Now you can do that. And that will do all that, which is really not needed for this file. So let's undo that. I can't even undo it. Um, yeah. So we can delete all the supports that way. That's the only way you can do it. So another way you can generate supports is this way. Let's just move this. So there I am underneath the ring. And you can go in by going to edit. Very counterintuitive. So I would go in here and add supports this way. You would think if you were doing it, you would actually have a add support, but no, instead we get an edit. I don't understand that, but that's the way they've set it up. So now if I get out of that and edit finish, voila, there now I have supports on that. So it's a backwards way of doing it, but it's something. There's very few things you can change. You can change your height from raft. You can say whether you want to add a base or not, which to me, it makes sense just to leave that on. And the size of the raft, you can change that. And the, the height, you can change. I did this ring already, and I moved this up to one millimeter just to make it easier. But you can't change what you would want to change generally in another slicer. You can't change your lift speed. You can't change anything that you really want to have control over depending on different resins. A lot of people say, you know, a dark resin, a black resin is terrible because it just doesn't stick and you have to change your base layers and your, your various speeds. You can't do that with this. At least not yet. Now, this is still uh, beta. Maybe they've got more things coming. But this is a workaround. And I don't, it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever why you need to edit. But that's the way you can make it work. Uh, I assume the Windows version is the same. It's basically the same program. So I had the same problems with the Windows version. I didn't really have anything other than auto supports. But there's a quick tip. If you want to get into using the Hallet Sky, the Hallet Box slicer with the Hallet Sky, that's how you would add your own manual supports. So that's a way to get supports onto a Hallet Box. It's a very weird way of doing it by having to edit. Um, but it works. I printed a Green Lantern ring. Here, let's... Uh, same shirt. And it worked just fine. Uh, I did one earlier and it didn't work out. Turns out there was a problem with the FAP, so I had to move it further down the plate. I have to replace the FAP because I got this thing used. But it works and it is a way that I can now support my files and hopefully that will get this uh, this machine going. I've got the resin coming from Creality soon, so I'm going to basically give that a whirl and see what that does. So Creality resin or Creality printer. That uh, should be interesting. So that's I uh, wanted to show you. That's I figured that out, and uh, that should work in the Windows side as well. So that's something if you were looking at the uh, Creality Hallet Sky and the Hallet Box software that comes with it. So that's it. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.